Hello everyone, this is Craig again, and today I'd like to speak to you about back pain and the nutritional approach. Now, although I do energy healing, such as EFT, quantum touch, uh, the emotion code, etc., uh, there is an underlying problem of why people have back pain to begin with. Except for injury, of course lifting something too heavy, of course would cause back pain, not lifting something properly, but barring uh, something like that or an injury, it's usually caused by the diet, the nutrition. So Although you may come to me and say, hey, Greg, you know, I got this back pain. See what you could do. So I do what I have to do and if pain goes away, fine. But uh, with time permitting, I like to give a nutritional approach, advice as to what to do. So you don't get in that condition to begin with. See, a lack of vitamin C is specifically involved in the cause and progression of chronic back pain problems such as sciatica and spinal stenosis. The premise is basic, long-term inadequacy of vitamin C. Without vitamin C, uh, your body is unable to make collagen, the protein glue that holds the cells together. When the cells of cartilages uh, enter ver Tubral discs are not holding together, the disc will degenerate, rupture, herniate, quote, slip, unquote. There's a lot of body weight on the bones of your lower back. When you flex, okay, and move, discs are weak and worn down. So, um, if only one or two discs are involved, it may result in the characteristic back and leg pain called sciatica. This is a nerve that comes out of your uh, piriformis muscle. And stenosis. It is worse if multiple vertebrae are involved. Without healthy discs to per then it, the center spinal canal can gradually stenose or uh, narrow. This channel is very important. It is the hollow through which your nerve superhighway, the spinal cord, runs. Squeezing or kinking the spinal cord means pain and problems. Try watering your garden when you're standing on the hose. You see what I mean. While spinal stenosis is sometimes congenital or caused by a tumor, by far the most common form is acquired stenosis. The usual way one acquires it is through injury, osteoarthritis, or both. Injury, inadequate vitamin C weakens ligaments and connective tissues, making injury easier, inflammation more likely, and healing much more difficult. Osteoarthritis, it's inadequate vitamin C, also causes the cushioning cartilage in your joints to deteriorate, roughen, or wear even thinner. As a cartilage degenerates, Bone scrapes on bone with each movement. That is osteoarthritis. Bone spurs. In the absence of cartilage padding, bone may begin to grow spur in the joints of the spine. This is probably the body's attempt to brace up uh, and splint the vertebrae and limit your movements. Um, Unfortunately, bone spurn can narrow the spinal canal and painfully squeeze the spinal cord in the center. So if bone spurs form in the little joints, the facets of the size of the vertebrae, 
the nerve roots at the sides uh, get pinched. Without enough vitamin C to maintain their strength, ligaments can de degenerate, thicken, and lose their elasticity. This too may narrow the spinal canal. If discs and ligaments are especially weak, lower back, the lumbar region of your vertebrae can slide over each other and squash the nerves. All of the above conditions have a common cause, cause factor, inadequate vitamin C. The good news is that all this can be significantly helped by administering large doses of nutrients. Vitamin D treatment. Doctors have seen many research studies on drug therapy, but very few on mega vitamin therapy. This does not mean that mega vitamin therapy will not help. It means that vitamin therapy has not been applied. And of course, it's not being applied because it's a natural, easy uh, uh, way to get cured and uh, continuing with vitamin C can prevent it in the first place. That means lack of money on behalf of the doctors and pharmaceutical industries. That's why you have such a law as Codex Alimentarius, whereas they uh, strictly limit the amount of uh, vitamins, not just vitamin C, but all vitamins, uh, so as basically to be uh, ineffectual. So, um, when you go to a doctor about back pain, <laughs> you probably won't hear from them uh, quit smoking. If you smoke, then you consume much larger quantities of vitamin C. You can be sure you are vitamin C deficient. So my nutritional advice to someone who comes in with back pain and I take care of them with say quantum touch would be to stop smoking obviously and even if they don't smoke to eat more uh, foods high in vitamin C such as oranges and, and grapefruits because the people that have back problems and it's chronic and it's not from injury and they don't smoke a bunch of dollars of donuts that they don't even uh, eat uh, citrus fruits So make sure you get your vitamin C food supplement form. Unfortunately, uh, you know they restrict it in capsule form. Clean out your colon because even though you might eat nutritiously, if your body is not absorbing the nutrients, well then no, you're not going to have the beneficial effects of. Uh, having uh, the vitamins that you should have. So I hope you find this informative and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.